What, are you fucking scared because the doors are open here tonight and it's no, like 12 o'clock? All right, we're back over here. It's late at night. We started on this thing and the sun was still out. Uh, it was like what? Good 7 o'clock. No, nah, it was fucking like when we started on this bitch, it was like 4.35, dude. Oh, it was, oh yeah. And what time is it now? Like fucking 11.30 almost. 11.21. 11 o'clock, so this is a situation you have that says, you know what, this takes a long time to do. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. And we're just here working on a test panel. If food I can go ahead and remove that. We know you're smoking a cigarette. We don't give a dude. Remove the tape easily. Don't pull the tape off, bud. There you go. Okay. Now we're going to Easy now. Watch the tape, dude. Alright, so what are you looking at here, Hood Eye? It's looking pretty funky, bud. Looks pretty crazy. It's looking like we got this action going on here and this action here, but we're not done yet, dude. Because now what we gotta do, we gotta get our yellow out. Okay. Because what we're gonna do with the yellow, we're gonna go ahead and color our flames in, and then we're gonna put some of that yellow over here, alright? And then we're gonna go ahead and pull all this tape off, and it's gonna give us our patterns, it's gonna give us our designs. And it's going to give us our finished product, and it's going to be ready for clear coat. Good deal. Do you understand what I'm saying? Got it. All right, dude. So let's go ahead and remove the tape off of our flames. And then once we do that, I want to show you where I f***ed up, because it's real important to show you this, because this might happen to you, and I'm going to show you how to fix that problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove our uh, yellow tape. Now, if everybody remembers, uh, we went ahead and outlined that first. Do you remember that, Hood Eye? Yeah. So the yellow tape is actually on top of the blue tape. But what happened is when I cut this tape here on this side, what happened is I actually cut too far, and when I pulled it off, I pulled the blue tape with it. So this is how we're going to fix it. Now remember, uh, we don't want to pull the blue tape off. All we want to do is pull the yellow tape only. So we want to be very careful in doing that. And now you can see underneath there, that's what we started with. Do you see that, bud? Yep. Okay. Let's get this one off here. And you want to be very careful not to pull that fucking blue tape. It's very important that the blue tape has got to stay on there. And I'm going to show you why, because we're going to do a double whammy here. What we're doing is we're going to custom pinstripe it. I see that, dude. Hang on. We're going to custom pinstripe this all in one action, and it's going to save us a lot of time and a lot of headaches when we get done, dude. And did you know that there's no videos, uh, actually tutorial videos, how to do this shit on YouTube? Oh, wow. I have searched the fucking internet on this, and there's a lot of people out there that are showing you doing it, showing, showing you that they're doing it, but they're not taking you step by step on actually how it works. Now, watch real close what I do here. And you can see we got a situation. Do you see what that situation is, Hudai? Oh, yeah. What is it? We got that blue that came. All right, we're not worried about that. What is happening, though, look what happened, dude. I accidentally pulled the blue tape off because, remember, I told you I cut through that blue tape and I had to add this blue tape on? Got it. Okay, you can see where this, this is actually part of the blue tape right here. I want to show everybody that. All right, you can see right here where I cut through that tape and it left this tape on there and it uh, pulled off the other tape. So I'm going to show you how to fix that because we need that fucking to be silver. Okay, so we got everything off and then now we're down to this line here. So what we're going to do 
is we're actually just going to go ahead and repeat our process and we're going to take our two inch fucking, uh, I mean our uh, eighth inch tape if I can find the end of it, here it is and what we're going to do is we're just going to pretend that we're going to go ahead and tape it off again and I see there's some yellow tape there, it's very important to get that yellow tape off dude alright so I'm going to get right next to that and I'm going to stay right on the fucking line there where the baby blue paint is So it's important that we stay right next to our pattern right here, dude. All right? We don't want to overwrite our pattern. All right? And if you notice, when I put this tape down, it's basically going on top of that blue paint that, uh, I mean, that blue tape that, that was already left behind. Do you see what I'm saying? Got it. So this is kind of tricky doing this, but on the other hand, it's going to work out, and it's really going to look badass when we're done. And then once again, this is just a test panel. Uh, this is not a vehicle that we're fucking painting here. Uh, so if it is, there's a little imperfection or what have you. Why the fuck is this table fucking moving, hood eye? That's going to fucking piss us off. And then I'm going to take my tape. And then now I'm going to stay right on that fucking line where that baby blue is. Thank God this is the test panel. Well, that's the thing about doing this type of pattern type shit. See, if, if you fuck it up, you can always go into some other pattern and say, well, let's do it this way now and, and just go with this. You see what I'm saying? Yep. Pattern painting is actually easier than just putting flames on because you're actually just fucking it up. If you really think about it, you're just yeah. throwing shit together and then, you know, doing this and doing that and it's done dude now if I noticed right here look where the tape got cut dude so what we're going to do is we're going to take our blue tape and we're going to start right here and because we got to cover that dude it's very important that we can't have any so this is very time when it comes to flames it's very very time consuming And I want to ask you a question, Hood Eye, because we got a situation. Do you see what the problem is there? We've got this line going. Where? Where? What line? He guessed it. Good job, dude. We got to add this line on there, bud. What the fuck's going on with that? That's good. I'm glad you got the eye going because the hood has to be there for the eye to fucking find this angle. We got to put a shadow on this line here. Why? So, that it matches so it looks like it's raised up off of this flame. Yeah. Okay. Now, do you think we ought to go with this blue? And then just go ahead and highlight that? I think that would be the best thing before we go ahead and put our last color on. So what we're going to need is my gun with the dark blue in it. Just go ahead and put a little bit of blue. Now what happens if we just deleted these two lines right Well, there? that would look stupid, dude. Then it would look like this one's going over that, that one. one. Gotcha. Uh, you got to have... You got to use your tape. Get my blue fucking stuff, bud. Come on, let's fucking go, good eye. All right, what hood eye saying? If we just delete these two lines here, uh, there wouldn't be no three-dimensional attitude going on. So it's very important for one of these flames to actually override one or the other. And the way that you're watching me tape this off right here on these flames, this is basically the same way that you would tape off ghost flames. Uh, you have to have the flames overriding each other to get that shadow effect and three-dimensional fucking look that you are looking for. All right, what I want Hood Eye to do, we got some yellow over there. Okay. Can you go again and get, mix up some yellow for us? Because that's going to be our final and last color we're going to put on this. Yeah. Yellow, dude. All right, while Hood Eye's mixing up the yellow for our final color, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our blue. I'm going to go ahead and set my gun so it comes out like that. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a line, and I'm going to go right on top of that right there, just like I did this. And what that's going to do, that's going to make it look like this flame is on top of that flame. It's going to give it that shadow effect. And what I'm 
doing is I'm using my touch-up gun like an airbrush. And while Hood Eye's jacking around with that, I think what I'm going to do, since we got the blue, we're just going to go with the blue, keep going with the blue. On these spots right over here on this side, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of just fuck around and just make a bunch of little spots using my airbrush and just kind of tap it as I go. Once again, this is candy apple pattern painting. And we're just fucking fucking around. And if you got any other ideas in your head of making patterns, of doing stuff, it's always a good idea to just go with it and start flowing it out and doing something. This is a time-consuming fucking situation, but then on the other hand, it's an easy situation. All right, you want to get that yellow for me hood eye, and we'll get this cocksucker done. And when we get this done, it's going to look badass, and it's going to look really fucking good. So once again, while hood eye's doing that, what we did is we started out with the darkest color first, and then led into the lightest color. This is the color I like the best. I like this blue here. It's a very bright, vibrant blue, and it looks really, really nice. I think the flame side actually looks the best. When we clear cut this thing, it is going to look fucking awesome. Okay, we got the yellow here, Hood Eye? We got the yellow. All right. What do you think of our fancy, fancy paint job here? It looks pretty cool. Okay, now this can be considered two different colors. This can be a gold or a yellow, right? Or a burnt. See that? Look at that. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over this real fast now. We're going to concentrate on the flames itself and try to just shadow in so it'll just fill that in there, dude. So we want to fucking play around with it. Now, I planned on going over this with yellow, so let's go over this first, see how it looks, then we'll go to that side. See what that's doing, dude? Oh, yeah. Look at that, dude. See the highlights that's giving it just, just kind of, see what I'm doing? Wow. I mean, it's just like magic, dude. It's a magic situation that says, look what the fuck's going on here, dude. Look how it's bringing these fucking designs out and making it fucking really pop out in our face, dude. Alright, see how I'm telling you now? Now see, what the situation is, we went from dark blue to yellow, but if you notice, the, the yellow doesn't affect the blue unless you really get on it heavy. Let's go ahead and do our flames and see what happens, bud. I'm just staying right inside the flame. I'm not going out of the flame. Look at that, dude. Look how badass that looks. Is that fucking awesome or what? Fucking cool. Watch close here, dude. Watch this. Look at this shit, dude. Is that fucking cool or what, dude? Look how I'm getting really thick with it now, and I'm really fucking filling it in. This is going to really fucking pop out. This thing's going to look like three fucking dimensional bullshit fucking cocksuckers uh, when it gets done, dude. Look at that, dude. Is that badass or what? We're going to really go heavy with this fucking candy apple yellow, bud. We're going to make this candy apple yellow really fucking exciting. I mean, it's just to me, dude, that really sets this side of it off, dude. That's fucking badass, dude. Look at that. That looks three fucking D, man. What I want you to do, Hood, I want to get some green, dude. I think we ought to go ahead and add some green in here just to see what the fuck. Because look where we fucked up right here. Got it. So if you get your hand out of the way, everybody can see it. Got it. Okay, what I'm talking about here is it's kind of dark right here. So what I think we're going to do is just take a little bit of green and kind of just highlight some areas in it with green. And then I think we're done with that. We're going to pull all this silver tape off. We're going to clear coat this fucking thing, and then we're going to see what our fucking pattern painting, candy apple pattern painting shit looks like. Okay, since we're just dicking around and we're fucking off here, what I got here, I got this thing, it's like a skull head stencil type situation. So what I'm going to do, and I'm not going to get real uh, technical on it, I'm just going to go ahead and throw some of these little fuckers in here, and we're going to see what they look like after we use the green on our yellow. 
Now this is where the situation is. We might be getting too gaudy. Alright? This is that situation. But this is also the situation that says this is what the situation is. This is a test panel. Do you know what test panels are for? So we can see what we can get so away with. So we can with. see what we can get away with. So we can practice makes perfect. And if we don't like it, you know what? Throw the fucker away and start over. That's right. Alright? Because that's what the test panel situation is all about. And that's why I'm doing this. Let's go ahead and get those little skull heads on there. Get this fucker done. We're going to pull all the tape off. I'm going to put a coat of clear on that to show you what it looks like. And I'm thinking it's going to look pretty bad out. But i got one more trick before we do that. Okay. Because this is called custom fucking paint chip. We're going to go ahead and add some prismatic pearl to this motherfucker. And then we're going to clear coat over it. We're going to get our fucking lights out. We're going to shine our lights on it. Let these set of bitches see what the fuck's going on. And which cocksucker is going to win the fucking race. Good deal. Alright, so once again, uh, I'm not going to fucking get real technical with this. So I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of uh, get some shit going and put some little designs in there. So let's just throw a couple of these little hands in here maybe. Okay, here's a little skull fucking guy right here. Let's just go ahead and throw him right here. Now watch what happens when I pull this off. You see him in there, that little ghost guy? Yep. Let's put one right here. And there's another one right there. We'll put this little fucking face right here, see? This little ghost face guy right here. It's funny, dude. See there, look at those eyes, bud. Okay, and then we'll put another one right here. Alright, you see him there, bud? Yep. All right, so uh, we don't really need to go too extreme with it. I'm just kind of showing you what you can do and how you can do it. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. I'm just going to fuck around just real quick. I'm going to go ahead and paint this pattern right here. And I'm going to do this one lightly. That's like a ghost head. All right. And then do you see that one there? Yep. All right, let's bring this one over here with this new one right here. All right, you see what I'm doing there, dude? Yep. Let's uh, stick one right here. How's that right here, dude? All right. All right, so there you go. That's another angle that you can throw in there. Do you see what I'm saying? Put that away, good eye. Let it dry first, so just stick it under there so it won't blow away and let that paint dry. There you go. All right, that's another angle. You can go ahead and use your stencils, this, that, and the other. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the green now and uh, just to add some more contrast to this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, kind of get some fucking line action going here like this. You see what I'm doing here? Uh, I don't think it's doing anything. And the reason I'm doing this is because we really kind of fucked up right there, dude. But I think we're going to be all right. And I want you to also pay attention while I'm painting this. Every time that I go over something that I already painted green, it's getting darker and darker and darker. Because candy's a transparent Because color. candy's transparent, and since it's already on there, that means that from going over it again, that's getting darker than the rest of it, dude. I say we're going too far with it. Let's go ahead and stop there. Uh, Hood I put that away. Clean that cocksucker out good while I start peeling this off. Now it's time to go ahead and start peeling all of our tape off. We're going to start right here. Watch what we got when we pull this off. It's really going to start popping out. And I think you're going to like what you fucking see here. You can add as many stripes and contrasts and patterns as you can with tape. Um, I mean, you can even go to the extent of, okay, now I got that, so what I want to do is I want to pattern myself again, I want to put something else on there. I mean, the patterning is patter, uh, patter, what the fuck word, Pat, uh, pattern, pattering uh, paint, I'm sorry, I'm fucking tired and I'm losing my voice here, making this video for all my faithful viewers to learn. Uh, when you're pattering paint, 
uh, it's unlimited to the quantity of what you want to do. You can go as gaudy as you want, or you can go as light and mild as you want, because that's what it's all about. Now, here we go to pull this off. I want to show you. This is going to really look awesome. Uh, the flames are already going to have pinstripe on them, and so it's going to look good. And uh, let me get this bitch off here first. And I see that there's more tape on here. Let's get that off. All right, look at this here, dude. Check that out. All right, we're going to go ahead and finish this off. You can see our patterns right there. And I don't know if you're looking at it like me, but that the flames look like they're standing out. Let me get some clear on that. I'm going to show you what that fucking looks like, and you're going to be fucking surprised. All right, what we're going to do to finish this off is I'm going to take this prismatic pearl. I don't know if you can see what that is. I'm going to add it into my uh, color blender, which is right here. Now, we're only going to add enough because once this is mixed, we're going to throw it away anyway. Matter of fact, we're going to put this in a can and take it with us, dude. Okay. All right. Stir stick? Yeah, give me a stir stick, could I? And what this is going to do, that's going to add an extra sparkle and an extra this type situation to it. And then we'll go ahead and put a coat of clear on that. And I'm going to show you what that looks like. And you're really going to like it. Do you want strain or two? No. No, not for this. So we'll mix our prismatic pearl up with our binder. Now this is just clear binder. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pour that in there. Alright. Okay, so now I'm going to open my pattern up on my spray gun. I'm going to go ahead and just do a nice quick coat, just like this. Oops, hold on. That was the wrong pattern. And all I'm going to do is just run it over just like this. Alright, we're back. Uh, we just got our clear mixed up. Turn our fan on because I... Okay, here we go. We're going to clear cut this bitch and see what the fuck it looks like. I see some scratch right there, but fuck it. Watch your eyes. that dry for about five minutes we'll come back put another coat of clear on it and we'll see what it looks like when it's done all right it's been a painstakingly five fucking hours to paint this fucking actually it's been longer than that what four five six seven eight nine ten eleven this is an eight hour fucking situation hold on dude keep it up uh on painting this panel but my friend pete is here to fucking do it for you because he's saying you know what you fucking deserve it pal let's look and see what we got uh, it might not be perfect, it might not be flawless, because it's a test panel, and it's something that says my friend Pete is giving you this to show you how to do paint patterns and get better at it. Let's check it out while Hood Eyes shining his big giant fancy fucking phone on it and see what it looks like. All right, hold it right there, look at that. Look at the sparkle as we're moving it, look at that shit. Alright, you see that prismatic pearl just adding that one little coat of prismatic pearl. Look what it did, dude. Yeah. Now that's candy apple paint there, dude, you're looking at. Alright, so we got the lowrider shit going on over here. That's good, good eye. That's good. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I appreciate you using your phone there, but that's great. Can you show everybody that big phone? Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, look how big that is. Wow, what is that, dude? That's like a fancy-ass phone. I guess, what? The Galaxy S. Wow, bud, aren't you a special fucking cocksucker today? <laughs> okay. All right, uh, you know, maybe you better get your phone out and go ahead and, you know, be a uh, fan of white on the situation and kind of, you know, do your thing there uh, with Wheel of Fortune. There you go, but All right, so as we finish this off, you can see the patterns that we made using tape only and coming back with candy apple colors on a silver base and showing people that, you know, wow, look what I can do at home and make it look fucking beautiful. There's all kinds of designs and all kinds of creations out there that says, let me get out there and investigate and do what I got to do to do what I got to do. Get on YouTube, look at other people's videos, learn fucking other design patterns and 
other stuff. Throw your own shit in there, and you too will come up with something in your head and do something right. This is Pete, my friend Pete. We're getting ready to go home. It's fucking dog ass, fucking tired, hot motherfucking cocksucker bitch, two ball bitch, right here at SWRNC. And I want to get the fuck out of here. Good night. I didn't say that. I didn't say that, dude. Well, I said. I was going to ask you what else. Oh, nothing else. Do you it's have anything to add no. to our fucking beautiful design over there? It's hot and humid, and it's time to go home. That's and what I'm adding. You're from Colorado, and you're thinking, what the fuck? And where am I, I at? That's I'm right. I'm on fucking jungle here, and I'm saying, wow. That's right. If this is what Texas is about, we ain't missing nothing. That's right. Let me ask you this, dude. What do you think of this, though? This is the angle. This no, is the This is cool angle. stuff Texas is bringing us here. This okay. is good stuff here. You think my friend Pete hooked it up and did it right? Oh, yeah. He showed the crowd how to get okay. this done. One more time with the light, Hood Eye. Come on. Uh, all right. Come on. Encore on yeah. the light. Let's get some sparkle action while we run the credits. There you go. Hold it right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back over here. Right there, dude. Just hold it and I'll move the camera on it. Look at that. That's badass, dude. That's some badass fucking shit, man. Okay, now you can move it around, Hood Eye. Move it around. There you go. Yeah. All right, my friend. We're done. Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go home. Enjoy it, guys. It's not every day we get a video like this. I'm sorry, what was that? Who it's not every day we get a video like Is this. Is that like with you in it or uh, what, with SWR? With me what in it fuck? or with just learning okay. how to do something like this. Thank you, Hood Eye fucking guy, bud. Where's your work classes, dude? What's going they're, on? They're, that's all right. Oh, where's your we'll, vacation classes? That's right. We'll break those out tomorrow. But the eye's still watching, right? The eye's still watching. The eye's fucking watching behind the head, in front of the head, down on the ground, up in the sky. That's right. It's always the fucking Hood Eye. In the sky. There you go. <laughs> that's right. All right. Radar. Fucking radar here, dude. Radar bad guy. That's me. I'm gonna call you Batman, dude. <laughs> Cave guy fucking radar, dude. Alright. There you go, good eye. There you go. Good stuff. Could you do that now after I showed you? Can you actually go home and do that? I can go home and practice it, and like he says, practice makes good. perfect. Good, dude. Good. I think we accomplished something today. We, we helped somebody out there in the world. And, you know, shake a hand, make a friend. Right there. Uh, that's for them, but not for you to say, hey, you just fucking learned something from my friend Pete and the eye. The eye I always fucking knows. The eye right. in the sky. See you later. All right. All right. Now let me just do this, dude, right here. Watch. watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.